It's Ash from Super Videos, back for another one. We're back to talk about season 10 of The Walking Dead. In this video, we're gonna be taking a look at the photos that they released for the bonus episodes of season 10, that being season 10 episode 17, all the way to season 10 episode 22, so the six bonus episodes. They also released a quick 30 some second teaser for season 10's bonus episodes. Now, unlike the first one, which had some clips from these bonus episodes, this teaser just has some character portraits, you could call them, as well as some dialogue or some voiceovers from these episodes. So we're gonna go through all of that. First, we're gonna start with the photos and then dive into the teaser and break it down. So stay tuned, we'll be right back to break down the photos and also the teaser that they released. All right, before we start, as always, if you're not a subscriber, consider subscribing to join our community. Also, if you do enjoy the content by the end, make sure to share and smash the like button. It definitely helps a lot in terms of getting the video to be seen as far as the YouTube algorithm is concerned. So it's definitely extremely helpful. Every view, every like, every share, all of that matters. If you wanna be notified about uploads on the channel, make sure to press the bell that's on the bottom right corner. With all of that said, let's just dive right into this breakdown. So obviously, as you can see, these are some of the pictures and some of the portraits from the teaser, but we're gonna look at all of them specifically. Starting off with this one, which is a picture of Maggie. Now, this is a very cool picture. She has a bow and arrow, so it seems like we're gonna see a different type of Maggie. So that's extremely interesting and awesome to see. But also something that I found was interesting was that we don't necessarily know what whether this takes place during the current timeline or whether this is part of a flashback that we're gonna see from Maggie. A flashback that would potentially fill in some of the gaps in terms of where she's been the time that she was gone. We also have this picture right here from Maggie, which is a pretty cool picture. She's obviously dressed in the same kind of trench coat or whatever you call that. So it looks like she's dressed the same way as she was in the previous picture. So it seems like this is from the same timeline. Obviously she's still rocking the bow and arrow, but other than that, there's nothing else going on here. I'm kidding. I can obviously see the person in the background. He's dressed in some sort of a camouflage. So that's extremely interesting. Now, I'm not sure whether this person is with Maggie or not, whether they're sneaking in to attack Maggie or whether they're with Maggie, but if they are with Maggie, then that's extremely cool. And it's like a type of character we've never seen before on The Walking Dead. Even if this character is not with Maggie, it's still cool because we haven't seen like a person do this before in this universe. So that's gonna be extremely interesting. They're obviously carrying some sort of a knife as well. So it's gonna be extremely cool and awesome to see how they fit into the picture and what their connection is to Maggie. Then we have this pretty cool picture of Maggie and Negan. This picture is a pretty awesome picture and I'm sure that this scene is gonna be a pretty awesome scene. An awkward scene, but an awesome scene to see. A scene with Maggie and Negan, but a scene where Negan is free. Cause unlike the scene from season nine, episode five, where Maggie confronted Negan, Negan wasn't a free man. This is a little different and Maggie has a chance, you could say, to tell Negan how she really feels and maybe she might even act on impulse and act on emotion a little bit here. So it's gonna be interesting to see what happens there. And I'm sure that the snippet that we had from the sneak peek where Maggie tells Negan you're out and then Negan says, I didn't escape if that's what you're asking, that could be from this particular scene that we're seeing here. What I'm talking about is also there as a voiceover on the teaser that we're gonna look at, so stay tuned for that. But awesome picture, and I'm definitely extremely excited and intrigued to see what's gonna happen between the two of them. Then we have this pretty awesome shot of Negan and none other than his wife, Lucille. Now, obviously, Lucille is played by Hilary Burton Morgan, who's, of course, Jeffrey Dean Morgan's real life spouse. So that's kind of cool because Lucille, Negan's wife, is played by JDM's real wife. So that's kind of cool. But this is a pretty awesome shot right here. Obviously this is a flashback of Negan and his wife. And I'm sure that this is gonna be somehow related to the scene that was also in the table read where we have a conversation between Negan and Lucille. So that's kind of cool. But also as you noticed, Lucille is wearing a wig, a purple wig. We also had 
Lucille in one of the earlier teasers that they released. She was wearing a greenish wig in the other one. So it's kind of a different look. So that's interesting. And she's obviously wearing that wig because she's doing chemotherapy because she has cancer. So that's how that kind of relates. But this is obviously from season 10, episode 22, which is the Negan centric bonus episode called Here's Negan. Now I forgot to mention, but the previous couple pictures that we looked at are most likely from the first episode, 1017, which is called Home Sweet Home. The next picture we have is a picture of Daryl right here. He's looking inside of a cabin and it looks like this might be the Daryl from before. And that means that this is a flashback and that fits perfectly with something that I actually speculated. Now, before we even move on to that, this looks like it's from season 10, episode 18, which is called Find Me. And if you remember in the table read for that particular episode, and also based on the synopsis of that particular episode, we know that Daryl finds some sort of a cabin where he's confronted by a lady with a shotgun. So I'm assuming that this is from that same exact episode. Now going back to what I said earlier, when I did my table read breakdown for this particular episode, I talked about how this scene where we have Daryl going into the cabin could possibly be a flashback that takes place during the time after Rick disappeared when Daryl was still looking for him. And based on this picture, based on the fact that this looks like a different Daryl, like a Daryl from an earlier season, that goes to kind of prove to an extent the speculation that I had, which is that that scene where we have Daryl being confronted by the lady with the shotgun is a flashback scene and not a scene from the current timeline. Then we have this shot of Daryl and Carol together. Now I'm assuming that this is from season 10 episode 21, which is called Diverged, which is obviously the episode where we have Daryl and Carol traveling together and they get separated at some point when they find a fork in the road. So this picture appears to be from that episode. Then we have Father Gabriel and Aaron. It's a pretty awesome picture of the two of them. Now, if you look around them, it looks like they may be surrounded by walkers and maybe even whisper. So that's interesting. So just like the comics, it looks like they are kind of bringing that aspect of the story where th there are some strangler whispers that are still roaming around. They don't necessarily have a whisper army anymore, but there's still a few of them remaining. So this appears to be hinting at that. Now, obviously it's difficult to say whether those are all walkers or whether there are some whispers amongst them, but it appears that that's the case. And also this appears to be from season 10, episode 19, which is called One More, which appears to be a Father Gabriel and Aaron centric episode. It's an episode of them traveling together and trying to scavenge the area and find some supplies. And that's where they come across a survivor portrayed by Robert Patrick. And then we have this picture of Commonwealth soldiers dragging princess away. Now, obviously this connects with the last few minutes of season 10, episode 16, where we had the group being surrounded by those people in all white gears, the same ones that we see here. And for non-comic readers, those are actually soldiers from a community that we're gonna learn about in season 11 called the Commonwealth. So it seems like for this particular episode, which is from season 10, episode 20 called Splinter, we're actually gonna pick up exactly where we left off in terms of the group being surrounded by these people dressed in all white gear. And that's pretty much it. That was all the pictures that they released. Now I'm gonna go through the teaser that they released. Now, like I said, this teaser is basically just character portraits as well as some voiceover from scenes from these bonus episodes. So there isn't really too much to talk about, but I do wanna point out a couple things. The first picture we have here, or the first portrait is this portrait image of Daryl. It's a pretty cool shot of him. And in the voiceover, he says, I'm not gonna stop till I find out. Now, I think this relates back to what I said earlier. This relates back to a flashback that we're gonna see from Daryl looking for none other than Rick. So a flashback of Daryl looking for Rick around the time when he disappeared. And I think when he says, I'm not gonna stop till I find out, he's referring to finding out what happened to Rick. The next portrait is this portrait of none other than Maggie, a pretty cool portrait of her. Now we do also see some sort of a face on the left. 
It could be my eyes playing tricks on me as well, but I think that's like a person, but I could be wrong about that. But obviously it says coming February 28th, which refers to when the bonus episodes are gonna start. It's gonna start on February 28th. People who have AMC Premiere or AMC Plus have access as early as February 25th, which is pretty cool. But for the regular audience, they'll have to wait till February 28th to watch these bonus episodes. And then in the voiceover, Maggie says, we need to get our heads on straight. Now, I can't really talk much about what she means here because I honestly don't know. It could be just about anything. Then we have this picture or portrait of a whisper, which is pretty cool. And that obviously teases that they are following the comic storyline where there are gonna have some strangler whispers roaming around, like I mentioned earlier. Then we have this shot of King Ezekiel, and then in the voiceover, he says, we can't trust what we don't know. Referring to the group that we saw at the end of 1016, the soldiers in all white gear that I talked about, who are from a place called Commonwealth. Now what Ezekiel says here is actually in the table read for that particular episode that we talked about. Then we have this picture of Judith, a pretty cool shot of her. Now in the voiceover, she says, right now, mom's looking at us. So she's talking about Michonne and obviously she's talking to RJ. And then we have this picture of princess and then it says six new stories. So six new episodes, six new stories. That makes sense. That's part of the kind of six episode bundle that they have. And in the voiceover, we have Princess saying, everybody gets scared sometimes. That's pretty self-explanatory, nothing much to say about that. Then we have this picture of Eugene in what appears to be some sort of a train cart, which would obviously kind of connect with where the story with Eugene and the survivors he was with left off at the end of season 10. But in the voiceover, he says something that I thought was interesting. He says, my people back home need help. He didn't say our people, he says my people. So he's either talking to one of the Commonwealth soldiers or he's talking to none other than Stephanie. Stephanie is the girl that he was communicating with on the radio, the person that got them to go on the journey to go meet with her. So that I thought was extremely interesting. So there is a chance that we might actually see Stephanie in this episode. Eugene could also still be talking on like a walkie talkie so we could just hear Stephanie's voice, not see Stephanie herself. And that would kind of make sense because I'm sure that the Commonwealth soldiers may have come with some walkie talkies. Eugene may have found one of them and may have communicated back with someone, maybe Stephanie herself. Then we have this picture of Carol. She says Alpha needed to die. Again, pretty self-explanatory, nothing much to say about that. She might be talking to Maggie here about what happened to the Whispers and Alpha and Negan's role in this. I could be off about this, but this could be where this piece of dialogue is coming from. And then we have this shot of Father Gabriel. He says there's still goodness. And this is again another voiceover that we also heard in the table reads that we covered from these bonus episodes. And then we have this image or this portrait shot of Father Gabriel and Aaron, a pretty cool shot of them. And then on the screen, it says one shared fate which is pretty interesting. This goes back to the other piece of text that was here, which said six stories. So six stories, but one shared fate. So that's kind of cool. In the voiceover, we have, I think Father Gabriel still saying, you just have to look for it. So there's still goodness in the world. You just have to look for it. So this is just a continuation of what he just said, which we looked at. And then we have this shot of Negan saying, I didn't escape, if that's what you're thinking. He's obviously talking to Maggie. And this is again, another scene that was in the table read that we covered. And then we have this final image of the Walking Dead logo with a mask of all of the pictures of character portraits that we looked at in each of the letters in the logo. And then we have this one right here coming February 28th on AMC. And then you can stream them early on AMC Plus. Like I said, as early as February 25th. That's pretty much it. That's everything that I wanted to talk about. I'm not sure how long this video is gonna be, but I hope it's not super long. But with all of that said, if you enjoyed this video, make sure to share and smash the like button. And also make sure to press the bell to be notified about daily uploads. Subscribe if you haven't to join our community. That's it for this video. See you next time for another super video.